CVA was originally created to, to help the area, the surrounding Tennessee Valley, to create you know, the bridges and the dams and to really harness the energy from the water and the hydroelectricity. When I interviewed TVA, my boss-to-be mentioned several things about TVA, about it being uh, controversial because it was consequential which was an interesting concept to think about. And he also mentioned that if you worked for TVA, it was not just an ordinary company, it was that you were a servant of the people of the valley. The term TVA has brought prosperity to the valley is, is definitely true. When I look at the old pictures of, of Norris and Fontana and, and see them build those facilities, uh, it's great to be a part of TVA. My grandmother's family actually moved to the Tennessee Valley in 1933 when my great-grandfather took a job at TVA as TVA's first purchasing agent, and my family's lived here ever since. I'm to meet a lot of different people, uh, people whose fathers and, and mothers and grandfathers and grandmothers have worked here since the, you know, the 40s and 30s since this thing started, so it's really neat to see you know, how this uh, TVA all began. We are here because the Muscle Shoals development and the Tennessee River development as a whole are national in their aspects and are going to be treated from a national point of view. There's a hornet's nest there and this hornet stung Roosevelt in the back of the deck there and he slapped his deck and said, damn it, and they did. That's where they built the dam. <laughs> But even then, TVA wasn't just about power, it was about people, real people, who not only built the Tennessee Valley Authority, but built the valley itself. We dammed mighty rivers and provided electricity for the first time to millions of families, plus the factories that helped win a world war. We saved the valley from the ravages of uncontrolled flooding. We taught the valley new ways to farm, better ways to live. We answered the call to serve, and then we passed our passion to serve along to the next generation. My grandfather's name was Arthur L. Winnie. He was a master welder, and he worked on numerous projects. Some of the top projects he was involved with was the Chickamauga Dam, Fontana Dam, and he also worked at Widow's Creek. My grandfather was very proud of the fact that he actually built the flagpole at Chickamauga Dam. And if you ever look at some of the pictures of where President Roosevelt came and actually dedicated Chickamauga, if I'm not mistaken, there are a few pictures with that flagpole in the background. He understood the importance of it. He understood what was at stake. He was very proud of the fact that he knew that he was doing something that was going to be there for decades, if not centuries. I look at what the government did when it created TVA and what it did for this, not just this community, for heaven's sake, for the whole Tennessee Valley really benefited from that government-sponsored program. Some said it couldn't be done. Some said it shouldn't be done. Some said it wouldn't be done. But today, 30 years later, it has been done. TVA is not only the largest, but one of the best managed power systems in the United States. The initials TVA stands for progress, and the people of this area Welcome, progress. The power TVA provides is a very reliable source of energy. We have a very diverse uh, portfolio in TVA for generation. We have nuclear, coal, hydro, gas plants, windmills. This enables us to have a very dependable supply of electricity and a very economic supply of power for the people of the valley. Here in the SOC, we take all the generation in TVA and we're trying to balance with the demand that we have for the TVA region. The nuclear portion of our generation fleet is perhaps our lowest cost, cleanest, most efficient power that we have in our portfolio, along with hydro. And the good news is that 
with Watts Bar 2 coming online, we'll have the first new nuclear unit uh, since the early 80s to come online in the United States, and we'll be able to deliver even more low-cost power to the people of the Tennessee Valley. Five nines, the 99.999% reliable. Uh, we like to consider ourselves a major player in that. We try to coordinate to make sure we have the right equipment available at the right time. Of course, the plants themselves are a huge part of that reliability. We can't be reliable for TVA here in the System Operations Center if the power plants are not reliable too. When there's an event in the valley, such as the tornadoes or other events, the employees in the SOC, they may turn to a Rocky Mountain pump storage, they may turn to the traders, but at that point in time, things are moving pretty fast, I and mean, 15 minutes is quite impressive. If it wasn't for the people in the Valley, TVA wouldn't exist. So TVA was built for the people, by the people. We get up every day and we are trying our best to make life in this community better. Walter is my father-in-law. Uh, my wife and I were dating uh, in college at Tennessee Tech in 1975. And Walter at that time was already out here at the Raccoon Mountain Project. And I'll have the opportunity to uh, go into the Raccoon Mountain Project uh, in its early days. He always said that was the crown jewel in his whole portfolio of projects. When I started with TVA, I did start in a, in a nuclear program in 1979. And I had the opportunity to go to Sequoia when they took the reactors critical. And now, after all these years, I'm seeing Watts Bar uh, being brought online, the first nuclear unit in the United States in many, many years. And a lot of my buddies that I worked with so many years, they're also up there working and helping bring that unit online. Looking at Watts Bar, bringing on unit two, our transmission has procedures that support the unit. And so um, having to get those put in place and ready for um, when Watts Bar does come online. Being a system operator, and uh, using Raccoon Mountain to the benefit of the TVA, I recognize it as its importance. And knowing that he built Raccoon Mountain or helped build projects like Raccoon Mountain, Sequoia, Colbert, Wilson, Wheeler, Pickwick, Nickajack, Cumberland Steel Steam Plant, I've been able to use those plants to help me do my job, balance the supply and the demand of electricity for TVA. You know, I remember coming up here and seeing, you know, this huge facility and knowing that my grandfather was a part of it. When we think about our family's history here at TVA with Walter working and myself working and my daughter, I think TVA is celebrating 82 years this year. We've been here 66 of those 82 years. I see history here. I see history that has been made right here. I truly think I'll retire at TVA, and I think that is in part because it is in my blood. It is a family tradition. I am a legacy, and so it's special to work at TVA for me. If he's here today seeing Sarah and I, he'd have a great big smile on his face. Tennessee river system is the most biologically diverse river system in the United States. So as an aquatic biologist, there's no other place I'd rather be. TVA provides a tremendous amount of recreational opportunity, and TVA makes it all possible by responsibly managing those lands and, and having them available for the public to enjoy. For people that are unfamiliar with TVA, it is just such an amazing place. Just all the different facets of, of the agency, all the things we're responsible for, our history, what we've done for the Tennessee Valley. It's just an incredible place to work. TVA is unique also from other power companies and since it is a federal agency, we have a lot of public lands. Uh, we have public lands all throughout the Tennessee Valley along our reservoirs. Uh, we have small natural areas. We have a responsibility to try to protect those biological resources that do occur in the river and try to reduce our impacts to the animals that live there. When an economic development project comes in, I'm helping coordinate with our partners. Um, so we're helping bring the resources of TVA to those 
state, regional, and local partners. We're very pleased to announce that we will be building a data center here in Jackson County on the site of the Widows Creek Coal Plant. Google, a world leader, has decided to come here, and we are so delighted, Gary, to have you and your team here. Now, we've gone from textiles to technology. Franklin Roosevelt, shortly after creating TVA, said the real mission of TVA is not electricity. That's a secondary matter. The real mission is to improve the quality of life of the people that live here. So many companies have products that they produce, but TVA produces a product that impacts the quality of people's lives. We get to impact all the lives of the people that live in the Tennessee Valley. You're committing to 9 million people having power. When people go home at the end of the day and they can turn their lights on, that means that TVA has done their job. I think he had it right in 33. I think it's still right today. We are here to serve. TVA's nuclear fleet provides approximately one third of the power for the valley. Um, Watts Bar, Browns Ferry, and Sequoia all work together to make sure that we meet the needs of all the homes and factories and industry in the Tennessee Valley. The nuclear fleets are very important in that we provide uh, clean energy, which is uh, zero emission, carbon free. Bringing Unit 2 online here at Watts Bar means that we can provide more jobs to the area as well as provide power to approximately 650,000 homes. And it means that really being able to compete with the entire country to say that we can meet the power needs to bring in these companies and really uh, sustain the future of the Valley. Um, I've had a great opportunity to become a part of a startup testing team within the operations department at Watts Bar for Unit 2. Since it's July of 2014, I've been dedicated to assisting with brick turning systems over and a lot of the testing that's going to ensure that Watts Bar Unit 2 operates as designed uh, safely and reliably for the entire valley. So it's a very large role that Watts Bar Unit 2 plays to not only the TVA and the community but also to the entire nuclear environment. In this whole process of bringing Unit 2 online, we've, we've reached out to people that were here when Unit 1 came on. You know, how did we bring systems on Unit 1? And they're our expertise. They're our go-to people. And I'm now a go-to person. I was the first person that could walk up to a pump, turn the hand switch, and energize a motor for the first time. Not everyone has experienced a unit startup for the first time. Not everyone has gone through a construction phase, and I have. I feel like the entire world is looking at TVA. Every day I see us closer and closer to our end goal of bringing Unit 2 online, tying onto the grid, and providing power for the Valley. It's very special to me. It's something that I will take with me forever and that I will remember always. Yeah.